in 2009, I posted on Facebook, if a person is willing to, the po to do the possible, God will do the impossible. This is at a time where um, I was a flourishing multiple business owner in Hawaii. And yet, and I had all the toys and the friends and I go three, four times a week. I had the life that supposedly was supposed to be happy. <laughs> but it was this, and I've shared this with some and, and on this line, but uh, this black hole of emptiness and it wasn't fulfilled. What's happening? Why am I falling asleep crying? Why am I waking up crying? You know, what is this depression? I shouldn't be, you know, and um, it was a transition. It wasn't only at that time, but it was coming to a head at that time in 2009. I don't know where that post came from because I wasn't really open to God. I wasn't really open to what was larger than me, what was animating all things. I knew it from my Hawaiian culture, spiritual practice, spiritual teachings and things, but wasn't really embodying it, wasn't really opening to it, but striving for greatness in my life through achievement, through accomplishment, gaining things, position. Oh my goodness. Uh, in 2009, I decided to leave Hawaii and um, went on this journey. <laughs> Of course, ended up at Sunrise Ranch here. <laughs> and a lot of you know my, my journey since then. But reflecting that, reflecting on with my with people that have conversations recently about reaching for greatness, reaching for a larger purpose in life, you know, it's it's really in this moment. If we open up to that source of life. We open it up and let it flow through us, then the wisdom, the guidance is right there. The blindfolds are released. We can see what's right in front of us. I didn't have to leave Hawaii to have a deeper purpose or meaning in life, but I had to at that time. I had to shift. I had to get out of that pattern of being somehow, some way, and there was no other way, you know. Um, at, that I knew at that time, though I wasn't sure what I was leaning into, but I knew I had to change somehow. I think we can all reflect on times that way that we have we've chosen, chosen to do that. 